know, in industrial automation, speed, repeatability, there are many factors to consider, but the human machine interface is actually a vital component to making an effective automation solution. I'm with Greg Smith, he's a process engineer with the Escala. Uh, Greg, uh, the human machine interface, teaching the robot to do something, how important? Absolutely important, so it's one of the most critical steps to successful automation. Uh, so it can be challenging, as you said, right? So ease of use is critical. And in this demonstration, we're showcasing Smart Pendant. So Smart Pendant is the tool that allows us to quite easily program the robot. Now it's, uh, you say Smart Pendant, it lists a very intuitive looking, sort of press the button, make the robot move thing. How important is it to be that intuitive? Because I come from a background where you had to basically pump in like systems of differential equation to be a mathematician to program your robot. Absolutely, so this is designed for a much uh, less steep curve for uptime, right? So anyone, including kids, I've got little kids running this, this robot all the time. So it's a graphical interface, tablet-based design, very similar to what your phone would do, right? You're never looking at a manual, you're never Googling questions, not often on your phone, you're just figuring it out on the fly. So we've taken a similar design approach with this methodology here. Now, is this applied to specific, uh, you've got some cobots on display here, is it this work across the Yaskawa line entirely? Or? Uh, so we have, a smart, we have a smart series line of material handling robots. These robots are all capable of being driven from the smart pendant controller here, and they offer some cool things. So let me show you one of them. Um, as you mentioned, ease of use is critical, right? So what we have is smart frame. So smart frame allows us to jog with respect to the pendant. So if I want to move the robot away and towards, it's going to move. I no longer have to know the right hand rule. I no longer have to know what X, Y, and Z directions are. I can also move left and right. What's cool is as I move the pendant, as I move myself, right and left is now the same with respect to me. So anyone can be operating this HMI. Okay, it's funny you mention that because up, down, right, and left seem intuitive to us, but many a time I've seen an operator confuse right and left, <laughs> north, south, up, and down. Sure, sure, sure. I guess that's one thing you'll have to have figured out, right? Left and right is, is, a, is a, something that we kind of assume you'll understand, and it's much easier than X plus, Y minus, Z plus, for example. Now, uh, what applications typically would you expect to see equipment like this use? Where I would just pick and place, pharmaceutical, packaging, food and beverage? So, so think material handling. So uh, machine tending, as one example, would be an excellent application. But any simple pick and place application, these robots are excellently, perfectly suited for. Now, you've got a vacuum gripper on your, uh, your example model here at this. So what if I want to use a different kind of end effector? Right, so this robot, while it is a cobot, it has the same uh, whole pattern methodology as any of our standard industrial arms. So assuming it is, uh, satisfies your risk assessment, you can bolt any tool you desire on this robot. Now Greg, uh, in an application, for example, like a simple pick and place job, packing cartons, for example, this how long roughly would you estimate it would take someone to learn how to program this? So I've gotten many people uh, in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes, you're executing a basic simple pick, pick and place job. Um, if you want to become more advanced, it's maybe an hour or two. So pretty quick uptime. Now, in many cases, a robot like this, in an application like I'm talking about, like packaging, for example, would replace a human operator. Is it conceivable you could take the human operator that was packing those boxes and turn them into a robot program? Absolutely. So the intention of the smart pen is that it does not require a, a significant expert to be doing robot programming. So with a matter of minutes, hours, uh, we can get any operator up and running on teaching, editing, maintaining the robot program. So this technology doesn't necessarily mean that jobs would be lost. In some ways, perhaps jobs could be gained. Absolutely, I think that's certainly beneficial. Greg Smith of Yaskawa says that advanced robot HMI technology means that jobs needn't be lost with industrial automation. In fact, it means a better job for everyone.